Fun was 12th in the class, and the winning junior entry, also the winner of the Junior Production Award, Lime Rock Iberis Lobelia, exhibited by Jennifer Rule of Dodgeville, Wisconsin. Entry 1073 was third. Entry 1074 was second in the class, R. Cruzy's Vision Jackie E.T., exhibited by Baginski, Holtkamp, and Cruzy of Othello, Washington. Entry 1075 placed sixth. Entry 1076 was 11th. Entry 1078 placed eighth. 1079 was the winning entry and the production award winner, Random Luck Vision Twyla, exhibited by Blessing Farms, Cade Blessing of Fort Wayne, Indiana. 1080 was 14th. 1081 placed fourth. Entry 3000 and added entry was ninth in the class. The class now in the ring are the aged cows. First place award in this class is presented by Royal Hill Swiss, Don Graft of Fort Wayne, Indiana. The Bread and Owned Award, presented by Iowa Brown Swiss Association. Production Award, presented by Swiss Valley Farms of Davenport, Iowa. And Best Utter Rosette, presented by the Cattle Connection of Amory, Wisconsin. Junior Award in this class will be presented by Brown Swiss Enterprises of Beloit, Wisconsin. Our judges have completed their placings in this fine age cow class. At this time, I'd like to acknowledge our production award winner. She is entry 1096, Vin Vic Nickers, exhibited by Swiss Miss Farms, Tony and Fawn Sen of Fox Lake, Wisconsin. Nickers produced in six years, four months, 305 days, 29,800 pounds of milk with a 3.9% 3 test, 1,162 pounds of fat, 3.5% protein and produced 1,019 pounds of protein. The best udder in the class today goes to entry 1082, Jody Prelude Nancy E.T., exhibited by Jody Capini of Tillamook, Oregon. Winners. Third place in the class is Old Mill J.P. Grace, exhibited by Rob and Pat Donaldson of Abbotsford, Abbotsford, British Columbia. In second place and best bread known in the class is entry 1086, Jody Prestige Kalua, exhibited by Jody Capini of Tillamook, Oregon. And your winning entry, entry 1091, J.K. Hillary Hillbilly, exhibited by Rob and Pat Donaldson of Abbotsford, British Columbia. Congratulations. And now for his comments, Judge Lammers. Well, a nice group of cows here in our aged cow class. And for me, this cow, the frame on this cow just moves her to the top. 
Akalia love the depth and openness of rib, the drop that she has to that rear rib, the big flat rump that she has. She has that advantage over our cow in second. She's got more heart, more barrel, more drop to that rear rib, more spring a rib today than our cow in second. In addition, she's a little sharper, a little more angular all the way through than the cow in second, been milking uh, for 14 months. Love the framework on this cow in second. She's a tall, upstanding cow. She's extremely long from end to end, giving her the advantage in feet and legs over our cow in third. She's a cow that's stronger in her pasturings. She shows me more depth to heel. When you get behind her, she's more balanced in her rear quarters. I prefer the way the teeth set on the utter floor today than the beautiful dairy cow coming out here in third. Third place cow, tremendous ribbed cow. You love the depth of body, the openness that this cow has. Giving her that advantage in top line, strength of loin today over our cow in fourth. Our third cow just holds herself much nicer out over that top. She's stronger in the loin, more level from her hooks to her pins. In addition, she has that advantage in her rib structure, just a little more drop to that rear rib. But what, boy, what a mammary system on this fourth cow. Cow, you love the height and width of udder. We did make her best udder in the class quite handily. You love the seam in this cow, the correctness of teat placement. Just lacks the overall strength to top, depth of body for us to get her up any higher in the class today. But is that advantage in mammary system that gets the fourth cow over the fifth, just on width of rear udder, she has more boom to the top of the rear udder, more uh, symmetry in those rear quarters. The fifth cow you love from the side, tremendous frame cow, the uphill run that she has, the strength to top. Just like to see more uh, volume to that rear udder to get her any higher in the class. But she has that advantage in angularity, much cleaner up through that front end than our cow in six. Sixth place cow, tremendous rear uttered cow when you get her in line. You love the height and width of rear udder that she has. She has that advantage as well as teat size, shape, and placement over our cow in seventh. I prefer the way the sixth place cow's teats are a little more centrally placed beneath the udder floor. They're more correct in her teat size and shape as well than our cow in seventh.